and I have absolutely no idea what this is going to be. And it's probably a good thing I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> because when these three guys get together, you're right, it is scary. And it will probably be something like you have never seen. And you probably won't want to ever see it again. It's already. Yes. Mr. Gable. Yes. Mr. Gable. <laughs> yes. Mr. Gable, Jackson Riley is here to see you, sir. Yes, could you please? Jackson Riley. Jackson Riley. Jackson Riley is here to see you, sir. Yes, Mr. Gable. <laughs> Yes, Jessica, I was wondering if you could send him in, please. Well, certainly. Thank you. Hi. Mr. Gable? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. That'll be it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here, and for all the audience, to know that we're doing this for a public announcement. And that is a simple announcement to all audience and all of America. And that is that we're overweight. I can't say anything. I mean, I have issues, all right? But that brings us to today's story. The story of Stan Gable and Jackson Wyatt. Two very good friends from the time that they were young. However, now, they're placed in more of a business kind of relationship. And they show us just how true friends can be when it comes to work. However, there's one very large, very jiggly problem standing in their way. Let's see what that is. Jackson, you're fat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I cannot continue to have you work here if you are going to continue being fat. I don't understand. Well, you obviously have no problem understanding how to open a fridge. <laughs> That's inappropriate. Oh, is it really, Fatty? Come here, I have something. <laughs> now, what is this, Chris Farley? Oh, well, that's a window. Yes, I know. Yes, I know that. Yes, I know that. Yes, I know that that. Yes, I know that that's a window, but what is that? Behind the window, what is that over there? That's a racetrack. Oh, yes, yes, That you yes. obviously own now that your dad's finally kicked the bucket. Now that he's dead, no one likes him. Oh, excuse me, he, he's six feet under. Uh, uh, he's burning in head. Big, heaven. God rest his soul. Thank you for that, Jackson, but no. What is that? What is that on the racetrack? That's a horse. And what exactly is that horse doing? Checking his blood pressure. <laughs> stretching. No, no, Jackson, he's not stretching. He's reading a book. <laughs> All right, he's taking a nap. Jackson, go on, sit down. On the chair. <laughs> Don't break it. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, what did you do last summer when you promised me that you would lose weight? That, that's it. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this, Stan. I don't understand your sick obsession with me losing weight. What do you want me to do? Throw up on the table? I had all 12 donuts from Dozen Donuts today. All 12. You want to see them? I don't understand why it's so important for me to lose weight.
know that everything's doing fine down here in Lunch Lady Land. <laughs> I wear this man on my head because my red hair is falling out. I wear these brown rugby shoes because I got a bad case of a gout. I know he wants to eat on the corn dogs. There's no reason to shout. Everybody gets enough food down here in Lunch Lady Land. Statement 
and the music gets hopeful. <laughs> Yeah. 